in completing action on that bill. I want you to know that the bill that has emerged from conference meets the objectives I outlined in my letters to Bob Markle and Jack Kemp last December. In that correspondence, I said that I'd only sign a bill that allows for a full $2,000 personal exemption for both itemizers and non-itemizers, basic tax incentives for American industries, and effective dates so as to erase apprehension in the minds of those in this plan for future annual investment and a minimum tax which allows no individual or enterprise to escape paying a fair share of the overall tax burden, a rate structure with a maximum rate no higher than our proposal, and a tax practice that reduce taxes for minimum income working Americans. And I asked those of you in the House last December to vote for that House bill as an expression of your faith that we could then get a good bill in the Senate and through conference. I think that was something of a record. I don't know that anyone's ever said to you, I want you to sign a bill that I'll veto if it gets to my desk. <laughs> what it is, but that was what we did. But with your leadership and hard work, that's been done. And I'm satisfied that we now have a bill that meets our objectives and should become law. And uh, I want to ask Jim Baker if there's anything he wants to add to this. Well, uh, nothing, Mr. President, other than that we're California, part of the process, is developing a love and appreciation for that part of America that is uniquely Hispanic. In California, that includes our so many Americans of Hispanic descent, with courage above and beyond the call of duty, distinguish themselves in battle defending our liberty. He penned those words when there was considerable discrimination by any trace. The resolve to maintain dignity even in times of great adversity. Never was that brought home to me more there, close to highway. And one elderly gentleman invited me into his house, this house. The furniture there it was, standing or sitting in all of that mud. And as we stood there in the living room, the administration has been to expand opportunity to all Americans. And if I read the Hispanic community right, that's all that's expected. I've always found it strange that the idea that a people should work hard to support their families and improve their well-being is labeled the Protestant work ethic. Remember a man who early in his life picked potatoes for a living with freedom and opportunity available to him with hard work and a commitment to excellence. He is today a successful businessman and president of the United States. That's where I understand that the Hispanic Chamber's Convention will open tomorrow and I had no previous experience in that job. You know, I found that that wasn't all a disadvantage. It's wonderful sometimes. 
to not know the things you can't do, 8%. And I should say there would be three brackets. Because many lower income people, 6 million we estimate, will be taken off the roads altogether. Their bracket will be zero. So that's a third bracket, zero, 15. This bill, which we fought so hard to get the present company, Mr. President. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Chief. Happy birthday to you. Thank you very much, Mr. President. Well, the 30th anniversary is the 39th. That's your point. Oh, wait a minute. Don't go too far. Because I'm up to 36 already. <laughs> Let's stop. stop. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm delighted to hear your reaction about that high school essay contest. Even if we write off the people on the edge of you and Don and all the rest of us, even these fellows. That's what we do. And in recent years, their school has given their much in America. We're going to try to help that. Come on, make a wish and blow those out. Thank you very much. Now we're all waiting to have a piece of cake. Have you run to Newmeyer or Monsanto? Oh, of course not. Excuse me. See, there's some people who are going to see who works here in the building. Oh? We can work for Haley Barber and Henry Prime. Oh, wow. Thank you. Well, I need something every day. I have to say this part of my job. One of our gals in the Secret Service is getting to know these. No, no, that's going to work out. It was only one day, it just seemed like it. <laughs> <laughs> that, I was in, in Annapolis for, uh, we had a meeting with the commission, and celebrating taking note of the original Annapolis Convention, and uh, uh, Governor Hughes and uh, Governor Calvert, who's the state, uh, first state that ratified the Constitution, was all involved in the then I got back was that, to that. Was that the convention that Madison? Madison and Hamilton. Uh, and Hamilton really worked over it. They Madison. really, right. Um, they call it a convention on right. commercial matters, a meeting on commercial matters. Right. But uh, they knew what they were shooting for. They were shooting for a constitutional convention, and they got it. Uh, it was very interesting. Our, our commission meetings took up long hours, but we'd slip out and take part in some event that they had tied in. And of course, these first 13 states make a great deal out of it. And if you get into Philadelphia, the Park Service. Got a mom with me today, Mr. President. Well, 
I would probably not. Well, that's pretty close to it. My daughter Kirsten. Hello there. How are you? It's my mother Esther Svon. Hello. Mr. President. So that's John. My wife Jill. Hi, Jill. How are you? Dad, yeah. Hello. Nice to see you. Good to see you. I think you kind of rather play us over one, but we all come here and have a family group. That's great. Great. Well, the way to do it is you put half of on one side of the present and half on the other side. <laughs> okay, right. Now we need one more person over on this side. I will be. Okay, good. We'll balance it off. Red versus red. Okay. All right. Okay, thank you. It's awful just to stand there and they just flash. <laughs> well, now we can say it's all Don's idea. Yeah. <laughs> uh, now I guess we've got a waiting for us over there. Yes, sir. We certainly do. We go. Just a few souvenirs. Look like for Jill. Maybe we'll give you some time to read. Thank you. Cup next to you. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much, Mr. President. For you, Thank you very much. And these with the seal on the key. Thank you. Thank you. But, but she's not old enough to drive yet. <laughs> well, so fix it up. Must have a key of her own to get in the house. That's it. <laughs> All right. That's it. Thank well, you. It's a real pleasure. I appreciate it, Mr. President. You guys are going <laughs> well, what's everybody doing? <laughs> well, I think we know why we're all here, and uh, I think we all really should be smiling through our tears. But after 18 years, I can't deny it. All the way back in Sacramento, where he was a very big part of some things that we were very proud of there. Our, the first comprehensive reform of welfare in the United States. And uh, then on here in 1981, the jobs that he's had here. And I know we're going to, going to all miss him, but I also know that we all wish him the very best and wish him well. And uh, Dak, I have no words to express my gratitude for all that you've meant to this administration. And uh, many times when I just kind of fumbling around to get an attitude on something or other, and you would volunteer something, and I didn't go any further. I knew I'd have the horse's mouth. <laughs> There's a pony in there somewhere. I know. <laughs> thoroughbred horse and I rode you. <laughs> I quit. <laughs> well, I, I, I would like to say just a few things, Mr. President. This is, uh, this is uh, one of the most difficult moments in my life, um, but the time's come and you have been most gracious about it. I appreciate that. Um, a lot of people are asked when they leave the White House, well, what do you miss the most? And, uh, and I, I will miss the man. I will miss you, Ronald Reagan, President of the United States. I will miss your friendship. I'll miss your jokes. I'll miss your, <laughs> your leadership. And, and I'll miss the, the personal example that you have set for me throughout most of my adult life. And I thank you very much for the honor and the opportunity. Thank you. Mr. President, 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 Mr.